Hey everybody, this is uh, Darman back with a new another box opening video. We're going to try to do this all in one take. Might go long. I'll try to keep it short. But this is for those of you who put in your twelve dollars to get a piece of this box. So we're going to try something new. Um, we're going to randomly assign collector numbers, the final the the ending digit of the collector numbers, to each of ten people. I do have one person on there twice, and we're going to do that randomly. And then we're going to open the box, and whatever you get, you get. Hopefully there's a masterpiece in there. So we're going to do these in the order that people signed up. Chris was first, so he's going to get five for Chris. Okay. Next signed up was Marcus. So, yeah, I'm, I'm real slick with the stuff here, right? Marcus is going to get card number three. We're going by the uh, converted mana cost of some old artifacts I picked out here. Thought that would be very appropriate for what we're doing. Mitch was next up. So we're going to do, who? what is that? Nine. He's going to get number nine. So any collector number that ends in a nine will be his. Mike was next. We're going to do, what's that? A four for Mike. Next up, 10 or zero, we'll call it, is for Chandler. Uh, what we got here? We got Legacy Weapon, which is a seven. Oops. What am I doing here? Seven. Seven for Alan, who was next up. I got him ahead of Shirley. Next up after that is a six. And then Marcus is my double upper. So Marcus is going to be, he's going to have two numbers. Give him whatever that one is, an eight. It's an eight for him. Sky is going to get number one, and that leaves Ivan with whatever's left there, and that's number two. So now everybody's got a number, so we've used those up. That was kind of a cool way to do that. Um, I've got these spread out here, maybe to where we can see them. What I'm going to do is hit the highlights as I bust this box open, mainly uh, looking for uh, uncommons mainly the fatal push and then uh, rares and foils and of course masterpieces but I'll sort them all out at the end and uh, then we'll uh, I'll divide them all up and you guys can come in and pick them up so let's see let's see how this turns out for us hopefully it's a it's a good box right so Pack one. Let's get into this bad boy. We're going to jump right to Uncommons. Lifecraft Awakening. Secret Salvage. No foil. Secret Salvage is a one. That'll be a sky card. First one out of the gate is a one. Wow, that's kind of appropriate, I guess, huh? Next up. Oh, there's a Fatal Push. Fatal Push is a 7. Dark Intimations is an 8. So that goes to Marcus. And there is a foil in the pack. That is a 3. Alrighty. We seeing how this is working? Alright. What else we got? Oh! Oh! We're already on it. I saw it. Did you guys see it peeking out there? We're going to slow roll this bad boy. Holy crapper. All right. Heroic intervention. We're going to slow roll. Did you see it? Heroic intervention is a nine. That's a match. Oh. Oh. Boom. What is it? Ensnaring bridge. Holy crapper. What is that? That is a... That is a seven. Oh, yeah. It's rigged. My son has the seven. Holy crapper. I think I already said holy crapper. 
I guess everybody's going to quit watching the video now. We actually opened a masterpiece in this box. That is freaking awesome. Carrie Zeb's expertise is an eight. Where was an eight? I guess I'm covering them up. Who had the eight? Oh, man, I did this not a good way. All right, there we go. Wow. I mean, the odds were like one in four that we were going to even get a masterpiece, and we got it in like the third damn pack. Pardon my French. Solemn Recruit. It's a two. Yeah, I need a different way of doing this, don't I? Hey, two is for Ivan down there. Man, all right. Well, come on. Maybe there's some more goodness. Maybe it's a double masterpiece box. You got to keep watching, right? Just in case. Like I said, I'll get all these others. There's a Baral. Baral's pretty sweet. That's an eight. That was going to what? Marcus down there, right? I can't believe it. Man, I'd have liked to slow roll that to the last pack if I knew it was coming, you know? Ooh, Indomitable Creativity. That is a five. That's a Chris card. All right. We'll just keep feeding them out of here. Lost most of you once I busted the Masterpiece, so I hope there's another one. Philidar Guardian. The Scrap Trawler. He's a five. All right. Man, I just can't get over getting a Masterpiece. That is... That is awesome. Gifted Aetherborn. Hey, he's a pretty good uncommon, right? He's a one. Who's got the ones? That's a sky. So, Peace Walker. Oh, Quick Smith Spy as a foil. That's going to uh, a one. That's a sky. This is a zero. Chandler for that. Oops, I see more shiny back there. Ornithopter, Siege Modification, Aid from the Cow, Deadeye Harpooner. Harpooner's a foil. That's a five. And that's a five. Oh, well. Five hits heavy on that one. That was Chris. All righty. Windy Constrictor, not a bad uncommon. That is a, uh, what, a zero. So... Once again, I did not set up very well here, did I? Who was a zero? That's Chandler. My bad. All right. Midnight Entourage is a six for Shirley. All right. Hey, what do we think? What do we think? Man, I really want to bust another one now. Deft Dismissal, Renegade, Siege Mod, Walking Ballista, not too shabby. Who gets the Walking Ballista? That's a, that's a one. Who's the one? Sky. Sky's getting a Walking Ballista. That's a nice open. That is a very nice open. I know they're coming out in the Challenger decks, but I think there's only one in it, so. Gremlin, Trophy Mage. Oh, Scrounging Bandahar, so foil. It's a four. And a one, so over there. All right, well, at least everybody's got at least one card on there. I don't know. I'm sure there's a huge disparity because we did open a masterpiece. I'm just going to keep talking about that, ain't I? Pale's Predicament, Lifecaster's Bestiary. That is a two. Who's the two? Two, that's Ivan. All right. Nice card. Man, I don't even think we're halfway through this box yet. I'm going to have to do a song and dance, so you won't be able to see me dance. Keep you entertained. Tezzard's Touch. Yahini's Expertise. That is a five. All right. For those of you keeping track, hope you remembered your number. The rest of you probably just watching wondered, why don't he open them faster? All right. Ooh, Exquisite Archangel. What is she? She is also an A for Marcus. It's a mythic. It's a nice. All right. Man, I just, I know I keep saying I can't believe there's actually a masterpiece. Rogue Refiner, Tezzard's Touch, Merchant's Dockhand. That is a three. Three goes there. All right.
All right, so. Thopter rest. Battle at the bridge. That is also a three. All right. I'm making a hell of a mess over there. Who wants to come clean it up? Untethered Express. Uh, boom. Word of Invention. Been seeing that in some modern play. What is that? That is a nine. Who's got the nine right there? All right. Yep. Playing that in uh, Lantern decks. Seen it in some others. Pretty nice thing. All right. Ba Boom. Consulate Crackdown. Had a lot of fun with that at the pre-release. That's a one. Where's my ones at? Sky's a one. All right. There we go. Back when I won that Chandra trophy sitting in here. Back up there at C&K. Winding Constrictor. I think we took it. Hidden Stock Policy in some decks. Metallic Mimic. That's a pretty good card to mimic. It's a four. Four's going, where's the four at? Right there. Hidden stockpiles, a nine. Winding Constrictor was a zero. All right. I just trying to get more cards on the stacks. Those are good cards. They may not be high money cards. Big rated, Tezzard's Touch, Tusker. Ooh, Riskar. What is that? That is a two. Who's a two? Two, two. That's Ivan. Ivan's a two. All right. Keeping it rolling. We're at 11 minutes and something. How many of you are asleep? Wake up! We already opened a masterpiece. What if there's another one and you miss it? You'll have to tell your friends you just couldn't stay awake that long. Boom. Inspiring statuary. That is a zero. All right. Oop, I see Foily in that. Eight from the cow. Countless. Renegade. Yep, so it's a three. And eight from the cow. I think we had one of those earlier, didn't we? That's a five. All right. I actually seen that card do some major work in Ivan's deck uh, this weekend in his commander deck. It wasn't standard or anything, but... Boom... Another Shram. Shram's a three. I think that makes two Shrams we might open. Rogue Refiner, Thopter Rest. This guy is a one. One is for Sky over there. All right. You know, it actually takes a while to open a bunch of cards. Gremlin, Consulate Dreadnought. There's a Baral's Expertise. That is a nine. Where's the nine? Nine is right there. Should have laid those out in a better fashion for a started. I guess I'll learn for next time. Speaking of next time, well, let's see. Ooh, Tezzeret! Who gets the Tezzeret? Tezzeret's a seven. Holy crap, seven's pretty good. Seven, seven, seven's pretty good. Looks like lucky seven's a thing. Anyway, I was talking about next time. I'm going to do one of these for Dominary if you'd like to get in on that. I'll be putting one of those up to do when I, oh, I see a foily. Boom, boom. Clint Sleeve Siphoner, foil basic. All right, we'll look at the basic. That's a one. Glint Sleeve Siphoner is a two. All right. So it'll be the same deal, $12 to get a chance at a box, Box of Dominaria. Uh, we'll open it up, do the same thing we're doing with this one. Oath of Ajani. I forgot all about that card. That's a one. Um, to be doing the same thing. They haven't announced they're putting masterpieces in it. I kind of thought they'd bring them back at Dominaria, but maybe not. But there's some really cool stuff if you've seen the early leaks. Oh, Fatal Push. I wondered if we were just going to get one. Another Baral. So Baral was an eight. Let's see. There, Fatal Push was a seven. Man, my youngster's killing it here with that n lucky number seven pull. All right, 
Hey, upside down card. Check that out. That's a uh, that's a uh, gonna be fancy there. It's a six, so you know whoever got a six, I'll find that out in a minute. That's that's like a misprint, right? Because it's upside down. Ha <laughs> ha. Disallow, nice. Disallow is a one. Goes to sky. Oh, we're getting close to the bottom. Only three or four packs. I'd sure like to double up on a masterpiece. That would be just that'd just be too much, wouldn't it? I think I see shiny coming up. Oh, look at there, Etherwind Basker. Well, fast engineer, so that's a nine. Nine is there, and that's a four. And a four, where was four? Boy, I'm not very, right there, all right. Three packs looks like, we're gonna get it in under 20 minutes. So you know we're doing another one later on. Get a chance on that. Come in and give me $12, Lightning Runner. That's a zero. If you like what this is, come in and get a chance. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't come in and get a chance. Just thought I'd try something different. That is a four. Feeling a little bad for Shirley looking down there. I only see one card there. This is the last pack, folks, right here. Renegade Rallyer jobs. Aether Sphere Harvester, which is a two. Two, two. All right. Well, that is the box. I will go through and sort them all out and figure out who got what. But obviously, obviously, seven was the big winner. As you can see, two fatal pushes, Tezzer the Schemer, and an ensnaring bridge. All are sevens. Yep. It looks rigged. Maybe I shouldn't post this and do another one, but I'm going to because the hell with you if you think that I rigged that. I opened it all on camera. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time uh, opening the box, and we'll do another one if you guys think there's value in doing this kind of thing. We'll talk to you later. I got a uh, post from Earl to, to do.